Try it first. Aww. Yummy? Yummy? What's up you guys? Kiliancha here. Today is a very special day for us because we're celebrating Father's Day in advance. We've ordered a Father's Day set menu from Chili Api Catering which showcases Peranakan cuisine. And so we're super excited. It's the first time I think that we're going to be trying the Peranakan or Nyonya dishes. And so I can't wait to start the feast. Let's go and eat. <laughs> The Pernakan feast has finally arrived. It is indeed a feast. So this is set A food we ordered from Chili Api Catering which is Peranakan catering that is famous here in Singapore showcasing of course uh, Peranakan dishes it's not a simple term indeed it's very complex to explain but just to put it simple Peranakan is like descendants of Chinese immigrants who intermarried with locals in Southeast Asia so like Malaysian, Indonesians, Thai people the men they call them Baba the women they call them Nyonya this is what they call the Nyonya cooking which is a mix of those cultures all of those flavors so I would say Pranakan in general should be spicy fragrant herbal and um, rich we have here the set a which has three main course one vegetable one side dish and one cake the three main course we have here the ayam buah kalawa the fish fillet in nonya spices and we have here the kampong fried mee siam the vegetable is the chap chai and then the side is golden champadak fritters and then the dessert is the kue salat it's called set a for celebrating the fathers for the father's day i just want to honor my husband because today is father's day and he is one of the reasons why i am still able to do what i do and he's my number one supporter and the foodie mama ph won't be around without the foodie papa usually when we film he's the one behind the camera taking care of kayla waiting for me to finish tasting all the food but i think for today let's honor him he will get to taste all these dishes first before me yes good morning you guys foodie papa here how do you feel like you you get to taste the food first before me <laughs> it's great <laughs> i always wait until she finishes now that it's for father's day it's my turn to eat so which one do you want to try first so i'm a carb person so I just want to dive in here first. Misiam. We have some the eggs in here, some uh, bean sprout, dried shrimp, small shrimp. Get that mouthful. Eat it. I like it. I mean, I can't tell exactly the flavor. Maybe she can later, but there's some savoriness and some tanginess in it. Yeah, because basically, misiam is mi is uh, the mihon or the noodles that's used here, which is like bihon in Filipino, and siam is the old name of Thailand, which is where this dish is inspired from. So it's misiam or like um, Thai noodle, but cooked in like Malay Malay style or Malay way. So Thai people usually use tamarind or some sour flavor to their food. So this is what you get here in the in the misiam. Let me try the misiam. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought I will be trying everything first. Let me just get a huge bite of this. Mm, that's big. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely very tangy. Mihon is uh, perfectly cooked. I like the addition of the bean sprouts which adds texture and the small shrimps. It's so good. Very light and bright I would say. It's such a comforting dish for us because we grew up eating bihon also. But this one is the Thai style pernakan dish. Really good. What's to try next? What is this? Champadak. Kind of like a cousin of langka or jackfruit. Mm, then we'll jump into the fish first. Okay, the fish fillet is cooked with nonya spices. I'm just guessing that it's grilled. I'm not sure. Maybe you can put some lemon on it. The fish is cooked well, not overly done. Very light. I like it. Mmm, just what you need to chase it with the tomato. Mm. Oh yeah, 
it's like lightly seasoned there's not much spices that you get you can taste that they highlight the flavor of the fish the freshness of the fish is like smooth in your tongue you don't need to bite it actually it's very very tender and flaky you really need that lemon to kind of brighten up the dish it's so good with a tomato really really nice dish Mm -hmm. Another main dish which is what they call ayam buak kalawa. Ayam is chicken. Buak kalawa is like a nut. The kind of nut or fruit that comes from that tree is very toxic or dangerous. You can't eat the nut or the fruit raw because it has like cyanide. What they do here is they ferment it. I think they would boil the bokalawa, bury it in ashes for 40 days before they can finally cook it. And then they, I think they saute it with nyonya spices, put it back to the nut casing, and then they braise the chicken with it with all the spices. Everything is dark meat. It reminds me of Bali because it has a strong galangal flavor it's juicy and um, i uh, taste different spices in there apparently this specific knot a main ingredient here is mixed with tamarind gravy so it should be spicious and then tangy at the same time and the fruit grows in malaysia and indonesia so a mixture of malaysian <laughs> indonesian spices so let's try my turn i think there's is this curry leaf and you can really smell the spices look at that it looks so good let's see Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Oh yes. You can taste the spices, the galangal or ginger. It's kind of like a salty, rich. There's a hint of tanginess from the tamarind gravy. A little bit salty, so you have to chase it with something after you eat it. So actually this one, I also foresee it like being good with um, some mm. coconut milk in it. Mmm. I feel like this one should be like uh, we're chasing the savory ones with this one. This one is a vegetable. No. This is called chap chai, which is similar to the Filipino Chinese dish we call chap sui. It's a mixture of different vegetables. So we have here the wood ear mushrooms, there's carrots, there's cabbage, and there's glass noodles. There's bean curd skin as well in there. That's pretty much it. Chap sui or chap chai is supposed to be light and healthy. It's like a side dish actually, the mushroom. We call this actually tengang daga. In English, it's called wood ear mushrooms. Is safe for Muslims who are feasting this Father's Day. I think it's halal. The side that we got here is what they call the champada fritters. It's like the cousin of nangka or langka or jackfruit. It's usually breaded and deep fried into this golden color. See? How is it? It's actually good. There's some crispy noodles on the bottom. Fry with the sauce. It looks like a sambal sauce. Is it sambal? Oh yeah, it is. So let's try the chumpada. It looks really good. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm, that's good. In the Philippines, we have langka or nangka as well, but we usually just eat it raw, right? What this reminds me is toron with langka. Exactly. Because that one is fried as well. But this one is pure langka taste and it's deep fried. So you have this sweet nangka taste inside and very very soft it just bursts in your mouth it's so good and then the outer part is like a little bit salty and crunchy and you have this sambal blachan which is kind of tangy spicy sambal which is like a malay indonesian sauce i love this snack like i can keep eating this like for it's really good netflix time watching some k-drama it's so good yeah I loved everything. I can't say that I have a favorite because you have to eat everything together. If you want to taste this yourself, then you can go ahead and check out Chili Appy Catering's website. I'll link it in the description box below. And then later, we're gonna cap it off with some espresso and this quesalat. I'm gonna show you later, but we're gonna finish the main dishes first. See ya! Okay, dessert time. So we have here the kueh salat, famous here in Singapore, in Malaysia. So it is a two-layered cake, which is on top, the green color that you see here is a custard made out of, I think, pandan juice and coconut milk or kaya. The bottom part is glutinous rice. If you notice the blue and white color, right? The blue one, I think that they use blue butterfly pea flower that they boil, I think, to get the extract. That's very distinct. So it's such a beautiful cake to cap off this Father's Day feast. And so, cheers. 
Oh yeah. Mm. Now I'm gonna taste the cake. By the way, this set a package is for five people. Perfect for family. I think it's 18 sing dollars per person. So here's the cake. See that beautiful blue and green and white color? It's like jelly on top of there, but it's custard. And then below, it's kind of like sticky because it's glutinous rice. Huge bite of this kue salat. Mmm. Mmm. Let's chase it with um, coffee. Cheers. Happy Father's Day. The base in there, not too sweet. The butterfly flower pea doesn't really add much taste. It's just the color. The base rice is kind of like the glutinous rice that we have in the Philippines. The rice dessert we call suman, which is kind of plain in taste. The top here, you taste the pandan flavor in there. I'm guessing they use pandan juice to color it as well. That's why it's green. And then there's coconut milk. You get the sweetness from the custard on top. And the custard is jelly-ish. Jelly-ish. I grew up eating the gelatin. It's mixed with some fruits. And the gelatin is kind of like similar to the texture of the custard on top here. It's just a perfect dessert to end the meal for Father's Day. Thank you. I'm stuffed. Stuffed. <laughs> so to all fathers out there, happy Father's Day. To all the mothers out there, to all the wives, treat your husbands well. <laughs> Happy Father's Day to all the hardworking fathers there and to the soon-to-be dads. Happy Father's Day to you all from us here in Singapore.